Hello and welcome back to another coin skillet video. I thought I'd best do another boot sale review video from my live stream on Sunday the 9th of May. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with uh, this little fella. Pretty sure he was the first thing I bought <laughs> on the day. Uh, they only want you the pound for it. Um, I'm, I'm trying to avoid uh, buying piggy banks. I don't really want to start collecting piggy banks. I was collecting them and then I just like to say last lot I just gave them away. So uh, yeah, but this little fella uh, goes with this little fella I picked up a couple of weeks ago. So they're uh, obviously made by the same people. So maybe I'll just try and specialize and if I see anything similar to these fellas, um, I will pick these up. Unfortunately, there's no markings anywhere, so I can't tell who made these. But um, yeah, these little piggy banks, I'll, uh, I'll be looking at for these. I'll put them over there. I can't remember the exact order that I bought things, but um, let me get some of the bigger things out of the way. So this, I thought this was some sort of sci-fi reference book or something. But uh, no, it's actually lots of posters. So, um, what does it actually say? Lobby card posters from Sci-Fi Shockers. Uh, it was only uh, two pounds. And with this sort of thing, you could cut all these out and put them in some A4 frames and have them up on your wall because they're absolutely amazing, some of the graphics. Uh, yeah, there is one, of course, that is not a, I wouldn't consider a B movie, and that is Forbidden Planet. If you've never seen this film, please go and watch it. It is not a B movie. It is a brilliant top class sci-fi film, but it, it's not just sci-fi, anyone could watch it. It's a really good story. It's just literally amazing. And of course it features Robbie the Robot. There we go, first time uh, he was featured. I think um, Robbie the Robot goes on to be in the uh, Lost in Space, the old uh, black and white Lost in Space TV series. Robbie the Robot is pretty cool in it. And it's Liam Nielsen, isn't it? Yeah, uh, from the Naked Gun and the Airplane movies and things like that. Liam Nielsen, Leslie Nielsen, not Liam. <laughs> Leslie Nielsen is in it. Great, great, great film. Really is. I, you, you, yeah, you have to go and see that. You have to watch that. That's amazing. Anyway, right. So then we had. Um, well, well, we'll get the uh, bird box out of the way. So bird box. Uh, Mum loves it. Um, I did fix it to a trellis in Mum's garden. Uh, Temper. Temper. Temporary, I can't say temporarily. I have got a post for it, and we've tried putting it up in a couple of other places in the garden, but it doesn't quite work, so we've got to figure out the best place for that. But that's cool. That was 15 pounds. And then I bought the window panes, uh, double glazing window panes, and there's six of them all together, and they were really heavy carrying them back to the car. Oh my God, I had to stop twice just to have rest. <laughs> they were heavy. Five pound for them, I think the lady asked for two quid, I thought that was too cheap, so I just rounded it up to five pounds and then gave them a t uh, 20 quid altogether. That was pretty cool. Um, I've got an idea for those uh, window panes. I'll put up an idea up on the screen right now, make a little bit of a feature, an art installation, if you will, something out of that. Got a few different ideas. We'll see what happens with them. I'm trying to think if there's something else I'm missing. I don't think there is. Anyway, I got the After 8 Mint box, which was unfortunately empty. <laughs> and someone put a comment on the stream saying you could put coin flips in there. And yes, you can put coin flips in there if you have enough. I think only Christopher Collects could fill that, couldn't he, with coin flips? Uh, probably not. I'm sure a lot of you could. But anyway, 25p. I love collecting tins. I, again, it's something I've got a really, 
hold back on because I could be tin crazy. Uh, this is one of my favorite tins at the moment. I, I do keep some biscuits in there. Unfortunately, it's empty at the moment, but uh, what a great tin. Fantastic. I love them. I got, I'd say I've got to be good. I've got to stay away from them. We got the world coins. Uh, Glenn, Makamula Coins asked me to pick up a couple of bags of world coins. So there's a couple of bags there for you, Glenn. I've got three more here. Coin Collecting Ella. Coin Collect Ella. Asked for a bag. So one for you. Rich Swift asked for another bag. So there's a bag for you. I will contact you both on Instagram probably. I think that's probably the safest way. Uh, so that means I've got one bag left over. And there's some big old chunky coins in here. So if anybody wants a bag of world coins, let me know, first come, first serve, and I will send them to you. The only requirement, or the only stipulation, is that you film it. Film your little hunt, do a film for me. You can post it yourself, Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube, whatever you wanna do or you can send it to me, Dropbox, Google Drive, something like that. Send it to me and I will upload it to my channel. So uh, you can get featured on Coins to Collect if you so wish, but I've got one left. So first one to put the hand up gets that. So we've got to sort that out, that's great. And then we're on to the last few coins. I'm, I got a strange feeling I'm missing something. Um, ah, we had that wooden box, didn't we? I had the, the uh, I think it was maybe the second thing I bought. It was the wooden box, uh, like, a, uh, like a sewing box or trinket box, and it concertinas out. My mum's already got that. She's already spirited that away. <laughs> but yeah, that was only five pound. There was a lady in front of me who was going to buy it, and she, she was uh, having second thoughts. She said she'd come back for it, but I, I swooped in as soon as her back was turned. As soon as she started walking away, I don't know, don't know. I'm not sure if we're going to keep that. I might actually be doing a boot sale next week with my sister. I think we're ninety percent sure that we're going to do it. Actually, do a boot sale and uh, might see if I can get me money back for that. <laughs> Maybe sell it straight away. Anyway, so yeah, on to these last few coins. So um, there was a guy selling coins. I'd bought some things from him previous weeks. I was quite happily chatting with him. And then he said a few things that just made me think, right, he's just he's just trying to con people, this guy. Or he's just, he's just trying to sell things, but he's sort of hard selling. I did get this Newton 50p. Not great condition, but it's okay. I think it's worth the two quid. I think so, anyway. We got this football. Um, and for some reason, because it's in the card, means that it's a proof 50p, which is not true. It's a bunk 50p. So he was saying things like, uh, a proof is something that's never been touched or something, <laughs> rubbish. Uh, there we go. There is ever so slight toning, just starting on that. I think that's probably there, probably the best. See that the best, ever so slight toning. This side I think is fine, I think. But we got that. But the one that really riled me up, really got me, is I said, shame about the toning on that strike your own. And he said, no, no, that's gold edging. <laughs> No, and I, I just said, no, mate, no, that is toning. I looked at him square in the eyes and went, no, that is toning. And he was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but this is a 2018, 2018, again, bits of toning there on the back. 2018, and I always thought that the 2017 was the rare strike your own. But no, because 2017 is actually the year the Newtons come out. So it's a 2018 that's rare. So I got this. Uh, I don't know how much this would be worth on eBay. Uh, some people have suggested 30, 40 pound, but I'm not sure. 
I wasn't sure about getting it, but Laughter said, yeah, it's a deal, go for it, it's a bargain. So I did, I went back, and I got all three of these coins for 30 quid. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, so what's that? Well, let's like, say seven pounds off of the, the total price. So then Laughter suggested that uh, he's surprised that the guy hadn't wiped off the toning. And I was like, what? You can wipe off the toning? And having a chat to some of my other coin tuber buddies, they um, seem to, to suggest that yes, you can get some of the toning off which is quite mad. So we'll give it a gentle rub with this glove and see if I can indeed uh, do that. So I'm gonna get another glove. So I don't have this strike your own. I don't know, this, it was before, this came out before I really got into coin collecting. So yeah, I don't have this one. Let's do this little bit. Oh, this glove is massive. Toning on the top there. See if we can get that down a little bit. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Don't know if this is going to work. Some of my friends, like say some of my coin tuber friends, uh, Callie from uh, Caledonian Coins, or Darren from Caledonian Coins, I should say. He said he, he, he uh, had white gloves on and was looking at the toning and it seemed to come off in his hands. So we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Didn't really know you could do this or if it's possible. Where's the worst of it? Okay, so where it says Isaac Newton at the top there, let's just work on that area for a second. See if we can see a difference. Right, let's have a little look. I, d I don't think it's done anything, is it? I'll hold that up. And we'll see if we can compare that to the previous shot. Do you know what? I think it has done something to that. Let's try this area here. Just before the sir. Uh, let's have a look at that bit. What do we think? Not sure, I don't know. Not sure if anything's actually working. I think it is a little bit. I mean, it was pretty solid, the band around the edge, but now it seems to be a lot patchier in places. So I think maybe something's working, but don't know. Anyway, I'll have to um, carry on with that and uh, see if I can improve it. But uh, yeah, I don't really, too keen on doing that. Okay, so never mind. That's my strike your own. That's that's my proof strike your own. Yeah, right. <laughs> Nutcase. Anyway, there we go. I'm, I am actually really happy now. I did go back and get that. I am really happy. So that's all good. I um I think that's about it. I can't think if there's anything else I'm missing. Yes, uh, you open yet? Yeah, cool. Hot dog. Done by hot dog, yeah. Would you like any onions in it, mate? Uh, no, thank you. Just, just plain. Uh, brown sauce, guess. Brown, yeah. Can I make it breakfast? <laughs> One. Do you want it in a soft roll or a baguette? Uh, a soft roll would be great. Oh, I'll, you you right. um, I'll take a Pepsi Max, please. So I've got myself a uh, hot dog, jumbo hot dog, and a can of um, Pepsi Max. £4.70. I asked for sauce and she put the sauce on underneath the, but the uh, hot dog, so a bit weird. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll leave it there. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me again. Um, I'm glad that you uh, are liking the live streams. Fantastic. Thanks for your amazing comments on them. Um, I am still very disappointed by the picture quality. Urgh. Seems like people are still watching them regardless but yeah not happy about that uh if we do do a boot sale me and my sister then i will video parts of it and put another video up next or this coming sunday uh is a video that i shot three four weeks ago now um it was the very first day 
uh, the boot sales were open again. I went to three different boot sales in the ends. The Lazy Bones one that I've been live streaming from wasn't open then. So I had to go and search out some other boot sales um, and some surprising results, <laughs> let's just say that. So check that out, that'll be up nine o'clock uh, this coming Sunday, uh, 9 a.m. this coming Sunday. And um, yeah, so uh, thank you very much. Um, please subscribe if you're not. I'm, I'm desperately trying to get to the 2000 subscriber mark. Desperately trying. Uh, I think we're a couple of hundred away from that. So it'd be nice to hit 2000. Give me a like, hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another episode. But until the next video, please keep looking out for those coins to collect.